we'd like to announce that there's there's a meal and there's a lot of food and so we would like for everybody to stay and to uh, enjoy that with the family the family wants you to stay and the church wants you to stay and uh, so if you can that would greatly we greatly appreciate it and, uh, and so that is immediately following this graveside service John the 14th chapter says let not your heart be troubled you believe in God believe also in me in my father's house are many mansions if it were not so, I would have told you. I go to prepare a place for you. And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and receive you to myself, that where I am, there you may be also. As we say our final, not goodbyes, but farewell to Imogene, what makes, what makes this time difficult is that we're going to be separated and we're not going to be able to talk to her and, and ask her questions. But the Bible says, for all those who know Christ as their Lord, we are not to mourn as those that have no hope. Because Imogene had the hope. She had the assurance that Christ was her Lord and Savior. She had a peace that Wednesday morning as she breathed her last breath upon this earth. There was really no struggle, but there was peace. There was a peace in her life because she knew this verse of Scripture. She knew Jesus' promise for her life and she knew that as soon as she took her last breath on this earth she was going to be absent from the body yet present in the Lord and so now she is there and she has entered in the joy and the abundance and the glory that God had promised for her let us remember these words let us take comfort in them as we remember this dear lady that so touched our lives. Let's pray. We will be dismissed. Heavenly Father, you are a good God. Lord, I cannot imagine coming to this place now and having no hope. But Lord, you because you loved us, call us to yourself. Lord, I thank you for that assurance and that promise that Imogene has. And Lord, I thank you for her. I thank you for her life. I thank you, Lord, for allowing me 26 years to know her. I thank you for her love and her generosity that she had for her family. And I thank you for the I thank you for the strength that she had in her life that really influenced all our lives. Father, we know that her life will live on now in the people that she touched. Oh Lord, may we produce the fruits that she has begun in our lives through you, Lord. Lord, thank you for her life. Thank you for her love. Thank you for her strength. Be with each and every one here now, Lord. Provide your strength during this time, your comfort. And we'll give you all the praise and all the honor. And it's in Jesus' precious name we pray this day. Amen. Amen. This concludes the great side portion of our services. If any family